to talk to you today about living authentically, um, living a life where you are truly a living like what you believe and not some kind of fake life. Because I think a lot of times people live, you know, very fake lives and they're very unfulfilling and they're just not happy. And so we want to live a life that's real and true and that does require some courage because I think people are so afraid to take risks in things that they don't really, you know, they're too scared to like really live. So they always have these safety nets and these things that they settle for in life rather than to just really live like uh, dangerously. I mean dangerously in the best sense. I don't mean that you do um, some dumb, stupid stuff that are actually, that's actually dangerous. I mean that, you know, you're willing to take risks like you're willing to look like a fool or you're willing to fail at something, right? Um, th those kind of risks. You're, you're willing to risk getting your heart broken to really like live and you're doing it to, so you can have be you and who you are rather than to um, live this life that is just not even you. So I want to talk about that and what like the first piece of advice is for getting headed in that direction of living authentically. And also, um, you know, as far as I know, like where I talk a lot about dreams and how to know in your dreams, those messages and warnings in your dreams that come to let you know that you're not being authentic, that you are somehow deceived or that you're just not living uh, a true life. So that's what I want to talk about today. So first of all, you know, we talk about like, like when I read, um, the Bible, it talks about how Jesus says, I am the truth, the way, and the life, right? No man shall come to the Father except through me. That's, Jesus is saying basically he's the only way to the Father. And he says he's the truth and the way. Um, but then there's another place in the Bible where it talks about, he's talking to his disciples and he says basically like, if you continue abide in me and you continue my word, you will know the truth. So it's like the truth is this unveiling. It doesn't just come all at once. So it's really hard to say, okay, I'm just going to follow the truth or, you know, live the truth because you might not even know what that is. You may, um, not be sure, you know, what is the true path for your life. You, you know, you may not even really know yourself. You could be just, cause I do believe that like we, come into this world and it's like we don't really fully know ourselves and I believe you can't even know yourself until you really like until you meet God and then he reveals to you who you really are but that's a subject for another video um, so I do want to talk about that as well but I just want to give you some advice today about how you could start the journey of you know living an authentic life and um, the first step, it's really great advice. And it's actually something that's out there on the internet a lot. Jordan Peterson, if you know who he is, he's a behavioral psychologist, college professor. He talks about this a lot. He's become somewhat of a political figure um, because he was opposed to like the Canadian law where you know, the pronouns and you had to use certain pronouns or you, you know, could be arrested, whatever. So that, that's how he became famous. But anyway, there's a lot of things he's, a he's very interesting. And of course he looks at this from psychology point of view, but, um, it's a lot of, it's very interesting the things he says. And one thing he says is just stop telling lies. Right. And I think that is such a practical start and you know, you want to not lie. Like even if you don't know what the truth is, you know when you're telling a lie because you're, well, you know you're lying. You know you're convicted hopefully about it. And um, 
that is a great place to start is to just not lie and there lying is very dangerous in a spiritual sense and I kind of just want to tell you why it is so dangerous when you lie you're basically creating like this structure that now binds you you're you're bound to this lie and there's a high likelihood that you're going to have to tell more lies. So lie, like one lie multiplies because, you know, you don't want to be found out as a liar. And so now, you know, if something else comes up, you have to lie some more about it. And what happens is like you perpetuate this thing into the future that now basically holds you captive. And that's not good spiritually speaking, because, you know, it, like, that's how you know like the truth sets you free so if you are just constantly you know speaking the truth and that doesn't mean you have to do it in a mean way you know but you can at least not align yourself with things that you know are false um, and he, Jordan Peterson from a, a, a psychologist says you can actually feel this and and I agree with that you know I always think of it from a spiritual perspective that it's sort of like a discerning thing right but you can feel yourself get like fragmented or like kind of dis this disintegration that happens where you just feel bad but whenever you speak your truth from like you know that deep part of you you feel whole and you feel like you're integrated and whole and it make it's just a good feeling so he goes on to tell this story about how you know he he speaks a lot and so he said that he was speaking and he noticed that there was this voice he would was hearing not audibly but it was like he was had this part of him like watching and saying uh, you know that's not true you know you don't believe that that's a lie you don't really think that you're just trying to impress people you just want to win the argument and he was really thinking oh my like at one point questioning what that was and thinking like that he was being fragmented his personality you know how you can have multiple personalities I think that's what he basically thinks because I I believe he's agnostic like he's not a believer but anyway I of course you know as a christian believe that that was you know conviction from god giving like convicting him and you know just like he convicts everybody when we knowingly do things that are wrong but sometimes that our conscious is so deadened that we like don't even hear it or you know or we we ignore it whatever so anyway that's his advice and he said when he stopped he kind of didn't know who was the real him and he went with the critic and he said he had to stop saying 95 percent of what he was saying um, and that that was really shocking and i feel like i've experienced that in my life as well where um in my 20s is when it happened to me like i remember i was 25 and just realizing like that I had just believed, um, you know, falsehoods basically about myself and that I was pursuing like the wrong things in my life. And I do remember, you know, being thankful that I was young enough to be able to correct it. I just was so glad back then that, you know, I discovered it when I did and that I didn't continue on the path I was on but even if if you have come to this decision later in life it is never too late to start you know being honest with yourself um i can't remember who the writer was i think it's c.s lewis maybe who said that you know when you find yourself going in the wrong direction the best thing to do is to turn around and go back so a lot of times people just continue down the same path because you know it's been like they've so much invested you know the financial investments relationships i mean years of their lives and who wants to think that you know they've wasted all these all this time nobody does and it's it's a very humbling experience you know to number one be able to admit that you were wrong about it that that's humbling 
but ultimately, you know, um, it feels so good to just know that you're being real and that whatever it is, good, bad, it's, it's real, you know, and it's authentic to you. And you know, when people like get close to death or they're on their dying deathbed, um, I've read and heard that they always regret like what they didn't do and the, the opportunities they didn't take, you know, and pursue in their lives. So it is so important that we be real and with ourselves, truthful with ourselves, right? Because it's, it's one thing to lie to other people, but when you lie to yourself, that's like really bad. And according to the Bible, you know, we reap what we sow. So if you are a person that lies and deceives other people, you're gonna be deceived. You're gonna be deceived and confused and, and not know which way is up. <laughs> so we don't wanna sow those things into our, our lives. Plus, you know, um, when, when we know the truth, the Holy Spirit leads us. He's like a light that lights our path. And we can't see everything at once, but we can see the next step. And we want to, as we walk, we get more and more light and things start to make sense. But when you tell a lie, it's like, it gets darker and darker and more and more confusing you know what i mean because you get more and more enmeshed in your lie it's like this web that just traps you um and that is what i'm talking about like the truth makes you free and a lie really just holds you captive in this in the spiritual realm and it you're aligned with the enemy i mean Jesus called, you know, the devil is the father of lies. So if you're lying, then you are basically assisting the devil in fulfilling his will for your life rather than to speak the truth and let God unfold whatever he has for you. So that's what I'm, I'm talking about is make sure you are aligned with the truth. And even if you don't know what that is right now, you know, it's okay you, you got to start somewhere. And so I'm in agreement with Jordan Peterson when he says, hey, at least stop telling the things, the lies that you know are false. You could start there. That's a great start. And then you can find your way. And sometimes, you know, there's what we call like white lies and they're not really white lies. I mean, I don't believe in like intentionally hurting people so sometimes people they cannot bear to hear certain things and so we have to be very gentle with them you know because they may not be at this place where they can handle the truth so to speak but um you know i'm not i'm not talking about that i'm talking about there's one there's a difference in not saying something like in that kind of case where somebody like can't you know they're not ready or you can maybe say it gently in some kind of way but to not lie at least um, kind of makes me think about like you know when women are getting ready and they ask their husband oh do I look fat and, you know definitely you could probably lie in that in that case and just say you look great again you don't have to lie but you don't have to you know but there's a difference between those kind of lies right where you're just simply not wanting to hurt somebody or you're being careful about like your timing of it and those things that you just say because they're mindless and you know they're not truthful um so for example let, let me just give you an example which i don't know just off the top of my head is what i'm thinking suppose you're listening to jazz music okay and and your friend says oh you know do you like jazz you could just say no, it's not really a, not my favorite thing. But instead, you're like, oh yeah, I like it. Well, gosh, now, you know, like why lie about stuff like that? You know, just tell the truth. It's not my favorite. I don't really care for it. Be authentically who you are. Because, you know, in this kind of situation, you're probably gonna have to like listen to a bunch of jazz and then they're gonna ask you, well, who's your favorite musician? Well, when did you get started? When did you first start liking jazz? And it just snowballs into more lies. So guys, even like innocent little lies is what I'm saying that are attempts to uh, not offend people. Sometimes 
it, it's just not even worth it. Like just, you know, in the Bible it says like your yes be yes and your no be no. And by the way, saying no is another great way to start. So don't lie and start saying no to things that don't feel good to you, that don't align with you. Um, you know, hopefully you know how to say no by now because that's, that's a, that's a game changer. You got to be able to tell people, no, I don't really want to do that. No, that doesn't feel right to me. I'm sorry. And you know what, if they're your friends, they'll get over it. And if not, oh well, but okay. Back to before I close out the video, I don't want it to be too long. I want to tell you how how it manifests in your dreams. What are the warning signs like in dreams that you are being inauthentic? Okay. That and again, you may not you may not even know this. You might feel like you're fine and living your life. That doesn't necessarily mean. I mean, I know I did that a lot. But um, one of the ways you might know is you could have a dream where you're like watching television, for example, because again, television is fake, right? So if you're like in a dream, you're watching TV, um, then that, that's a good indication that there's something going on, a situation that's not real, that's fake in your life. Or you could be um, on a stage or something like, that would be like you're acting, you're not, you know, uh, being real, or you could be, um, like going to the movies, let's say you could be at the movies and anything like that, where you're watching television, you're at the theater on a stage, watching movies, stuff like that. That is an indicator that you're looking at something that's not real. You could also have dreams about like, wearing a mask where someone's wearing a mask that means they're not being real with you um or uh, like maybe you're wearing clothes that do not that look odd or that don't fit you well again something that's not right about your life so anyway guys i hope that helps you and just remember that when you lie you really you're betraying yourself and you're boxing yourself into a situation that you then later have to like try to get out of it it just complicates things it makes things difficult so don't do that um lies have consequences and i think like they pretty much ruin lives so be truthful and honest and live your truth learn how to hear like your conscious and that small still voice. We'll, we'll talk about that maybe next time in a video um, about how do you get in touch with that. But I will say that probably the best thing is to just like read your Bible and spend some time alone with your own thoughts and ask those questions. Like, is there an area of my life that I'm being fake and phony in? Um, Real quick, before I go, I'll tell you a story. When, before I became a teacher, I was in sales and you know, I just, I was just floundering, trying to find something, a job <laughs> to pay the bills. But anyway, I remember I got a job that I thought was really what I wanted. It was like, it, it was a good job, you know, made good money, but um, it just, was like soul killing for me. I couldn't stand it. I hated all the travel. I'm kind of a homebody. I like to be at home. And so it sounded great, you know, traveling here, going there, going everywhere. It was fun for like three months and then it got really old. And I remember I was going in to see a client one time and I was like sitting in my car trying to, you know, and I, I thought, I hate my job. I just hate my job. And I had been, you know, in this situation where I was really praying to God and trying to get close to God. And I felt like I heard something say to me, okay, not audibly, but just my thoughts. It was like, well, yeah, of course you hate your job. I, you were not meant to do this. This is not what you were meant to do. And that really got my attention. And it was honestly the first time I had ever questioned 
what I was doing and and really wanted to know like well what was I meant to do you know so anyway it was there that um, things really turned around and again I didn't know the truth for a really long time but at least at least I knew that something did not feel right and so that's what I'm saying is like listen to those feelings and that you have when you know when you know you're being inauthentic it does fragment you it doesn't feel good and you can't just ignore that in your life you have to pursue those things that make you feel whole that make you feel at peace and that aren't like your conscious is not um, convicting you over so anyway thanks for watching until next time i hope you all have a happy thanksgiving